Hi, good afternoon. Um, I'd like to apologise for not doing an evening um, filming due to the fact that um, I overslept. So, sorry to disappoint you, ladies, to the gentlemen, to the boys, to the girls. However, <coughs> I'm back again for this afternoon's um, filming. And um, I'm back with another recording. And, um, well, why do I keep saying that? <laughs> anyway, so I'm bringing you more um, footballing context from what's going on in the world of um, football, really. And um, I'm going to talk about my team in <coughs> a little bit. But I'm going to start off with um, Aston Villa manager um, Dean Smith. And yesterday he has um, blasted, he's blasted these attackers for not scoring enough goals. And I've got it, and I've got it here. Yes. Um, it, the title is Smith Blast for his blankers. Graham Bryce, who is covering this story. Dean Smith held an emergency meeting with his misfiring strikers and, and the head of hosting Manchester United tonight, which ended 3-0 to Manchester United. Good goal by um, Mason Greenwood, by the way. What a strike. United, um, sorry, <coughs> the Aston Villa boss warned them, we cannot stay up here if you keep shooting blanks. Villa only have five games left to wipe out Watford or West Ham's four point advantage. Well, it's four it's four games left. Plus superior goal difference to survive, but none of these available strikers, Ali Samata, Kier, Kiernan Davis and Indiana Vasilev have scored post lockdown. Smith, whose side drew another blank in Sunday's 2 0 loss at Liverpool, said they are judged on goals. I told the forwards not to get involved in the build up as much and get into the box. We must be more effective in the final third. Midfielder Jack Grealish is Villa top goal scorer with just nine and first choice hitman. Wesley is crooked. Smith added. Smith admitted it's crunch time now, but United won't be easy as their front four are potent. Well, that's the difference between the two teams. Man United um, were just too clinical for them. And um, in that game, they should not have had that penalty. If you look at it carefully, Bruno Fernandes treads on the defender's um, shin. And um, yet, Bruno Fernandes made out that he was the one that was um, the victim, making the defender look guilty when it was the other way around. I mean, Villa, Man United fans, if you want to um, have your say on this channel, on the, um, the penalty, do drop it in my comment section below. So, that's, um, that's the Villa's um, strikers not firing. And in this level, if you don't fire, if you don't fire goals in the final third, um, you're always in trouble. And that was the case for Aston Villa. So moving on. Um, Matteo Grandosi must change his attitude if he is to become a top player. And um, that is exactly what I feel. Because you don't go telling um, Neil Burpe that our wages are more than yours. You know, insulting insulting him and and the bright and his Brighton teammates about how low or how less superior their wages are compared to ours. That is disgusting. That's despicable behaviour. Your attitude stinks, and you seem to be a problem guy. And I'm gonna read a bit here. Just bear with me. I'll find it. Yes. Gwen's going to need to change. Arsenal by um, Cliff Hayes. Written by Cliff Hayes here. Or should I say covered by Cliff Hayes. Sorry about that. Arsenal bad boy Matthew Grandosi has been warned. Change your attitude or you will not become a top player. The French midfielder was dumped from Mikel Arteta's squad after losing his head in the 2-1 defeat at Brighton last month. Grandosi grabbed Neil Mopé by the throat. 
in the bus stop at full time and bragged about his wages to the Seagull players. Seriously. You're put onto that pitch to do a job. You're not put onto that pitch to brag about your wages because you've got more, because you earn more than um, Brighton players. Whoopie do. Now, what, whatever you earn, you've not um, obviously covered yourself in glory since you signed for us. I mean, how many assists and how many goals? It don't add up for your transfer fee or your wages. So you should shut your mouth and let your feet do the talking. Or let your actions do the talking as a footballer. You're an idiot, Grandozzi. You're an idiot. Right, reading on. Now, um, now Bernard Cossoni, he's boss at Laurier from 2016 to 2017, said, Grandozzi's problem is not physical nor technical. It's his attitude. It's not good for the team or the coach. He talks too much. His talent is not the issue. He can be a top player and still succeed, but it's up to him to change. Arteta has had crunch talks with Grandozzi and Kosani. Added, our relationship wasn't good. One game, he got booked early. The ref told me at half time to warn him, but nothing changed. When I subbed him, he, be, he refused to shake my hand. Is this, is this true, Grandozzi? Is this what we're looking at? Is this what Arteta's got to deal with? Because if you disrespect the coach, there's only going to be one winner and it ain't going to be you, Matteo Grandozzi. So you need to fix up your attitude, yeah? And fix yourself up if you want to get back into that first team and help us. Then change is needed, ASAP, or you'll be out of the door. All right, Inketia's red is challenged. Now, um, of recently, in the last couple of days, Arsenal have appealed for Eddie Inketia's red card to be rescinded. Maybe he'll get one or two game ban. However, because of the nature of the tackle, I doubt he'll. Excuse me. I doubt he'll get a, um, a game rescinded or two. But I'm going to read here from Rob Moore. Arsenal have appealed Eddie Nketiah's red card against Leicester. The striker was sent off just four minutes after coming on, coming off the bench for a rash challenge on the Foxes defender, James Justin, at the Emirates on Tuesday night. Ref Chris Kavanagh cautioned him, but after a lengthy VAR review, and then the chance to check the incident on the on the pitch side monitor, upgraded the card to a red. And Katia faces a three match ban, which would see him miss games at Tottenham away to Liverpool. Tottenham away. I mean Tottenham away to Liverpool. No, home to Liverpool. Home to Liverpool. Excuse me. If I can get some light on this. Home to Liverpool, that is. And the FA Cup semi-final against Manchester City at Wembley. Meanwhile, Kieran Tierney expects boss Mikel Arteta to transform Arsenal's fortunes. The Scottish left-back said, Everybody can see we're progressing well. We still have got a long way to go, but we are doing all we can, listening to everything he says, and we all believe. Well... This is um, the words coming... Well, those words there from Kieran Tierney, but I'll get onto that in a moment. So, Eddie Nketiah could have his um, ban um, rescinded, but I doubt it. He went in for a for a, what I would call a stu stupid rash t um, tackle that could have ended the player's career. It was that bad of a tackle. Why did he do it? We'll never know. You know, I can understand. I can understand that he wants to put the pressure on him, but he's he's gone in with studs showing studs first onto his leg. The referee had no other alternative but to send him off, and that's what what Kieran Tini said. Yeah, um, yeah. Everyone, um, Arteta is the guy to change the fortunes, and it, see, it says that everyone um, believes in what Arteta is doing. 
Well, there's one or two, there's two players that don't believe in what he's doing. One of them is Grindosi and the other one's Ozil. So I, I'll expect them to be shown the door and shown the door in shame. Well, especially Grindosi, the way he is behaving at the moment. So, you know, what will be, will be, and um, to be concluded. So allow me to um, cut this um, video. So I'm going to end it here. I'm going to say to the ladies, to the gentlemen, to the boys, to the girls, thank you for listening. Thank you for tuning in. And please, once again, thank you for watching. Remember, if you've got anything to say in terms of um, what I've been speaking about, please drop it in my comment section below. Smash the thumbs up like button as hard as you can. Yeah. And even more, more than that, yeah. The one I say always, please, 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 and pretty please do subscribe to my channel, yeah? You know who I am, DLG Repping. Guys, it's a, always a pleasure to um, do this video for you guys all over the world, yeah? I don't care who's watching. I want fans all over the world. So thank you for listening. Thank you for tuning in again. So this is your this is your host, your guy DLG repping. Love, bless, and peace out again. Yeah, thank you once again. I'll should be back for this evening, hopefully. Later's.